we are going to sew the iron shorts with a side zipper. So this pattern is very versatile, you can try it in different fabrics to get different styles. For summer I like uh, light denim, uh, medium to heavy linen, and for winter you can try a suiting fabric, a wool creep, a heavy polyester or silk creep, or a brocade for Christmas. Uh, for a professional finish, just make sure your fabric doesn't crease easily because it would show a lot on this type of garment every time you sit. Now, as always, wash your fabric and let it dry just like you will for your future garment. This is to avoid shrinkage on the finished garment. Then press it and fold it to get the pattern pieces. If you choose a PDF pattern, I am linking to a video I made to explain how to tile the pieces and uh, cut the PDF pattern. Then interface the belt. In my case, I will not use interfacing because my fabric is already very heavy and stiff, but this is quite rare. I really recommend to use interfacing in most cases. Then serge the edges of all front pieces and back pieces. So both front pieces and both back pieces. For the sides of shorts and pants, I prefer to serge the edge, then sew and press open to get a very flat seam. This looks and feels better uh, than sewing, the, then serging both thicknesses together. Now, pin the darts on both back pieces. Stitch then press towards the outside. On each front piece, make the pleats by bringing lines together. Pin and then baste and place. I like to keep a long thread and backstitch so that it doesn't come out until I want to remove it. Also baste the pleats horizontally and press them towards the outside. When you look at the outside of the shorts, uh, both pleats are supposed to be looking at the center. Here is a center, is on the left side. Uh, yet if you prefer to have them pressed towards the outside because it fits your body shape better or because you just like it that way, it's completely up to you. I have also seen a pretty version made by a client with inverted pleats, meaning uh, the two pleats are facing each other. So, in any case, baste them as well. Then pin one front to one back with right sides together at inner leg seam. Stitch, then press the seam open and repeat on the other side. Now take both parts of the shorts you just made with right sides together. So one front piece on the other front piece, one back piece on the other back piece. Pin and stitch the center seam from front top to back top. Matching the seams at the center. Then stitch and serge the seam. For this precise seam, you couldn't keep the seam allowances and press open because uh, at this specific location wouldn't work. Now let's make the pocket. There's only one pocket because there is a zipper on the other side. So take the shorts on the right side and pin one pocket piece to one front piece with right sides together and the other pocket piece on the corresponding back piece. Pin the pocket, then stitch, search and press the pocket towards the outside and the seam towards the pocket. 
Now take the front and back with right sides together and both pocket pieces also with right sides together. Pin the pocket from small circle at bottom to large circle on top. Stitch and serge. Then make the short side seam from top to circle and right here and from double circle to bottom. Then press the seam open and the pocket towards the short front. Now take the belt. Fold it in two and press one seam allowance towards the inside. Cut three and a half centimeters, that's 1.38 inches, on the side opposite to the buttonhole because we won't need it for this version with the zipper. Then pin the belt to the shorts with right sides together. stitch and then press the seam towards the belt. On the side where the zipper will be, a stitch from square marking on the side to bottom of shorts, then press the seam open like this. So I won't show how to insert a zipper because there are plenty of videos to explain this already but see, uh, this is where you would insert your zipper. Now here's my finished zipper. So then uh, you can fold the belt on itself and over zipper ends. Tuck seam allowances inside the belt. Uh, and now the best way to finish is an invisible hand stitch. If you really don't like it, you can top stitch on the outside, being careful to catch all thicknesses. But personally, I will hand stitch because uh, I have a nice fabric here. I don't. I want to treat it to a fully invisible finish. Lastly, fold the hem along the lines and make an invisible hem. Here, I am using this special foot, and uh, I'm using this stitch stitch number 16 on my machine. As you can see, there are straight stitches and an occasional zigzag. This is where, when the needle comes to catch the main fabric, just one stitch at a time. And this is uh, what makes the hem almost invisible. And this is it, your shorts are finished, so you can be proud of yourself, and if you like, you can share pictures on Instagram under hashtags French Poetry Patterns and FP Orion to inspire other sewists. See you very soon for another video.